Thank you very much. Please be seated. We are honored here in the White House uh, to be joined today by distinguished members of the Senate and the House, Senator Biden, Senator Hatch, Senator Kennedy, Senator Sarbanes, uh, one of Janet Reno's senators, Senator Connie Mack. Senator Graham called me last night. He's in Florida the, today with the, the First Lady at a health care. And he said he had an excused absence from the Attorney General. <laughs> The Speaker and uh, Congressman Edwards are here, and we're delighted to see all of them. I also would say we're de delighted to be joined by Mr. Justice White and Mrs. White. Thank you very much for coming. And let me say that uh, it is a great honor for me to be able to uh, be here at this ceremony today with Janet Reno, her family, and a few of her many friends. I'd like to say a special word of thanks to Stuart Gerson, who has served ably and honorably as Acting Attorney General since the inauguration. I think we are in a Please stand up. Thank you. Thank you. Somehow, I don't think any of my other proposals will pass the Senate by the same vote margin. <laughs> that. Janet's confirmation did. I especially want to thank Senator Biden and Senator Hatch and the members of the Judiciary Committee for waiving the normal waiting period between hearings and the confirmation vote, making this event possible today and making it possible for us to proceed immediately with the urgent tasks at hand. But more than anything else, I think it is clear that Janet made her own swift confirmation possible, showing the Senate and all who followed the hearings the qualities of leadership and integrity, intelligence and humanity that those gathered in this room have recognized for a very long time. You shared with us the life-shaping stories of your family and career that formed your deep sense of fairness and your unwavering drive to help others to do better. You showed us that your career in public service, working on the front lines in your community, fighting crime, understanding the impact on victims and on neighborhoods, mending the gritty social fabric of a vibrant but troubled urban area is excellent preparation for carrying forward the banner of justice for all the American people. You'll help to guide the federal government to assist state and local law enforcement in ways that really count. You demonstrated that you will be a formidable advocate for the vulnerable people in our society and especially for our children. Most of all, you proved to the nation that you are a strong and an independent person who will give me your best legal judgment, whether or not it's what I want to hear. <laughs> it's an experience I've already had, I'm glad to say. <laughs> that is the condition upon which you accepted my nomination and the only kind of attorney general that I would want serving in this cabinet. As Janet Reno begins her work at the Justice Department, she will enter a building that symbolizes our nation's commitment to justice, to equality, to the enforcement of our laws. On the side of that building, carved above one of the portals, is the inscription, the halls of justice are a hallowed place. With Janet Reno serving as our nation's attorney general, those words will have great meaning for all Americans. so we won't block the camera. And so Janet can be safe. I'd like you all to meet little Janet Reno. <laughs> Hi, Janet. How are you? Glad to see you. You can hold that Bible? I can hold that. Ms. Reno, you will <coughs> raise your right hand and uh, repeat after me. I, Janet Reno, do follow this way. I, Janet Reno, do follow this way. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. True faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. That I will well and faithfully perform 
that I will well and faithfully perform the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. The duties on the office on which I am now about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. General Reno. Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, Mr. Justice White, Mr. Speaker, Senators, this is an extraordinary moment. I just think of the history in, that is here today when I think of Mr. Justice White and the administration that he was involved in in the Department of Justice, probably the most historic attorney generalship in the history of this country, and one, an example of which I would like to follow. Mr. President, you have done me a great honor. And Senators, you have done something very special. I have sensed it for the last three days that there will be a new spirit in America where people will want to become involved in public service because it is the greatest undertaking you can commit for your nation. They will want to become involved in public service because it will be a time where people can address issues that we're all concerned about, crime and drugs, and giving our children an opportunity to grow as strong and healthy human beings, and that we can address them together in a spirit of free discussion with great respect for each other, with sometime disagreement, but with a common commitment to do what's right for America. And the spirit of these confirmation hearings, the grand words that people were very gracious to say about me yesterday, give me such encouragement and they make me think that this is such an extraordinary, challenging time. I say to all Americans, particularly young Americans, and Mr. President, you see my major commitment to children by the one standing next to you and the youngest one of the family back there, that public service is a great undertaking and that this is a new and wonderful time in American history where we want to make government reflective of its people, make its people come first, and give all Americans an opportunity to be Attorney General, Senator, serve the people. Thank you ever so much, Mr. President.